It is Microsoft's object storage solution for the cloud. Blob storage is optimized for storing a massive amount of unstructured data, such as text or binary data. Blob storage usages. It serves images or documents directly to a browser. It stores files for distributed access. We can stream video and audio using blob storage. Easy writing to log files. It stores the data for backup, restore, disaster recovery, and archiving. It stores the data for analysis by an on-premises or Azure hosted service. Azure Blob Storage is fundamental for the entire Microsoft Azure because many other Azure services will store the data within a storage account inside the Blob Storage and act upon that data. And every blob should be stored in a container. The container is more like a folder where different blobs are stored. At the container level, we can define security policies and assign those policies to the container, which will be cascaded to all the blobs under the same container. A storage account can contain an unlimited number of containers, and each container can contain an unlimited number of blobs up to the maximum limit of storage account size, up to 500 terabits. Blob storage is based on a flat storage scheme. So you can't create a container within a container. Let's take an example. Once we create a container like videos, and if we want to differentiate between professional videos and personal videos, then we can prefix the blob names with personal for personal videos and professional for professional videos. The blob name will be shown as personal video one, personal video to for personal videos and for professional videos, professional video 1, professional video 2. Like this, we can create a virtual hierarchy, but we can't create a container within a container inside the Azure Blob Storage Service. Blob Types Block Blob, it stores text binary data up to about 4.7 terabits. It is the block of data that can be managed individually. We can use block blobs mainly to improve the upload time when we are uploading the blob data into Azure. When we upload any video files, media files, or any documents, we can generally use block blobs unless they are log files. Append blob, it is made up of blocks like block blobs but are optimized for append operations. It is ideal for an application like logging data from virtual machines. For example, application log, event log where you need to append the data to the end of the file. So when we are uploading a blob into a container using the Azure portal or using code, we can specify the blob type at that time. Page Blob, it stores random access files up to 8 terabits. Page Blobs store the VHD files that backs VMs. Most of the time, we operate with Block Blob and Append Blobs. Page Blobs are created by default. When we create a virtual machine, the storage account gets created and the disks associated with the virtual machine will be stored in the storage account. But for most of the storage solutions like we know, we are developing an application like YouTube, or we are developing a monitoring application. In that case, either we use block blobs or append blobs based on the requirement. 